Today we are going to create a budget tracker app, something like this app. So this app is probably the most viral app in this niche. This app was rated number one by Forbes. So we'll just try to replicate some features of this app and try to create a minimum possible version of this app. So we are going to create this feature, which is expense tracker. Then there is create budget feature. Then there is this spending tracker app. The main thing about today's challenge is we are going to create this app in bold.new because bold.new allows us to create apps using Expo. But I only have the free version of bold.new. You can see this is my personal plan and in my subscription you can see I only have 836,000 tokens left this month. So we'll try to create a functional app with all of these three different main features and we'll try not to consume more tokens than 836,000 tokens. This video is not sponsored by Bold.new. I'm just checking that what we can achieve with the free version of Bold.new. So before we start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I make content for non-technical and beginners. So if you're someone who is looking to develop your passion projects using AI without writing a single line of code, this channel is probably the best channel for you so do click on that subscribe button all right so let's start i'm on bold.new and i'm just going to click on this build a mobile app with expo so we're actually going to use expo if you don't know what is expo expo is a react native framework that we use to build cross-platform mobile applications what is react native react native is a javascript framework that we use to build cross-platform mobile applications so expo is a layer on top of react native that we use to build mobile applications you can learn more about expo on this website which is expo.dev so once you build an app using Expo, then you can just publish this app on both Android and iOS. All right, so let's come back to bold.new and then give it a brief about our project. So build a mobile app that is my personal budget tracker app. The main functionalities of this app are following. So let's just like try to build these three main functionalities first. Expense tracker, create budgets and spending tra trackers. Expense tracker create budgets and spending tracker. If you're wondering how I got this speech to text option, so this is actually Windows default speech to text software that you can use by simply pressing on Windows key plus H key on your keyboard. Please create an advanced UI design for this app. Create this app in Expo. Also create these different modules, fully functional with all of the required screens. So let's just not like overwhelm bold.new. Let's just like give it this only. Let's just like build the authentication system and everything else later on. So let's just like focus on these three main functionalities and see that how it works. After that, you can click on this enhance prompt button as well, and then just like enhance this prompt. So once you click on this enhance prompt button, now it will actually start enhancing this prompt and create this prompt in a much better way. Now just press enter and see how Bold.me works. So remember, this is not going to be a typical web app. This is going to be a mobile app built in React Native Expo. So this is not a normal web app. So right now it has just like started creating code. It is now setting up this React Native project. It is installing all of the required dependencies right now. It is creating all of these different files for us. Now it has like started creating this components directory. So components slash transaction card, then there is a budget card. So all of these different components it is creating right now. And also it is installing all of these dependencies. All right, just within less than a minute, it has now finished writing code and it has presented this screen in here. So if you're wondering what is this QR code and why do we need that? So this is how Expo works. So Expo is a complete platform that allows us to test our mobile applications before publishing directly into our mobile phones. Expo has an Android app. You can simply just download this Android app on your Android phone. Or if you're an iPhone user, you can simply just download this iOS app on your phone. So once you download Expo app on your phone, after that, all you have to do, you need to simply just scan this QR code and then we can directly test this app on our mobile phone. So right now I have this Android phone. I'm actually going to scan this QR code on this Android phone. Later on, we're going to test that on iPhone as well. But for now, let's just do that on our Android phone. I'm just going to scan this QR code and right now it is opening this app. Let me just do full screen and right now you can see it is still opening. Just open and then I'll show you what it will present. So this is how this app is opening. It will take just a few seconds, but because it is just opening this for the first time. So that's why it is just taking some time. Okay. So once our app is open, we have this error. So right now we got this error while this app was open. So what we need to do right now, we need to just take a screenshot from here. We need to share that with bold.new and then ask it to fix this particular error. So all I will do, I'll simply just take a screenshot then I'll just share that screenshot with myself on Slack and then I'll just share that on Bold.me. Okay, Bold.me actually automatically detected that error on terminal 
and there was an option in here to fix that error. I just clicked on that button. Now it has fixed that error. There was an error inside this settings.tsx file. So it has just fixed that. And now let's just try to run our app again. So I'll just open this QR code once again. And then I'll just scan this QR code. I'll open my Expo app. Scan this QR code once again. Now the app is opening. And right now you can see the app has just opened. Okay, fine. So right now it is just showing the total balance of 00. zero because there is no active budgets, there are no recent transactions, nothing. So what I'll do, I'll simply just add an expense manually. So I can simply, there's a plus button, I'll, I'll simply just click on this plus button in here. It will open this kind of pop-up. I'll just enter an, uh, an amount here, I'll just enter my amount. After that, I'll just add a description of this amount, maybe something, and then click on this add. So now right now it has added this transaction in here, which is like my add transaction, it has mentioned this date, and then it has mentioned the total amount of transaction in here. And now in my on my home tab, I can see this transaction has been shown, it is showing in here. And after that, there is this analysis tab. This is the analysis tab and analysis, you can see this is now has one transaction in here during this time. So in my today's spending, it has it is showing this, this today's transaction. Then there is this settings tab. Settings tab has my apps general settings. It also has an option to export data and even import data. So all of that is now showing in here. And right now you can see my total balance right now because initially it was zero and now it is showing minus 14 as my total balance. So right now the design is very basic. It is not as advanced as it should be, as modern as it should be. So let's just like ask bold.new to enhance this design, make it look more modern and then we just like make further changing in our app. For design references, you can use something like Figma. You can on Figma community, you can find some really nice design. So in here, let's just try to find budget tracker. So there is this finance management app. So let's just open that. There's Expensify budget tracker. So you can just like use any of these designs absolutely for free. Okay, this design looks very modern and very unique actually. You can simply just click on this open with Figma. Also you can open this design as well. Simply just click on this open with Figma. From here, you can actually click on this component section. You can find all of these different components for your app. And then you can simply just find this design plus prototype in here. So this design looks something like different. This is just like really, really elegant design. So you can just like take a screenshot of from here and then we can ask bold.new to create design like this. So it can actually start creating all of different components of our app just like this. Similarly, you can check out this design as well. So this app design is more towards this color combination. It looks very nice as well and very, very elegant, very simple. This design is more towards the modern banking apps design, something like Revolut design. Revolut is not like this, but still uh, it is a bit more modern than Revolut. So this looks better, much better actually. But let's just try to follow this simple design. So this design actually looks more simple more elegant. To use this design, what you can do simply right now, there is an option in Bolt Art where you can actually convert a Figma file into uh, a functional design. But I have like explained that in a separate video. You can watch that video on my YouTube channel. Uh, but right here, what we can do, we can simply just share this as a PNG file. So you can simply just click on this layer from here on this home page, And then from here, you can simply just click on this copy paste as and then click on this PNG. Just copy it as a PNG. And then after that, just go back to Bolt.new, provide it Control V in here, and then now it will just provide this PNG image file. From here, let's just give it a prompt. I want to enhance the design of my app. Please see the task screenshot. This is the design reference. Please create design of our app, the style of our app, just like this, but do not change the functionalities of our app. You can just follow the design guideline, but do not change the main functionalities of our app. Please update our app accordingly. All right. So let's just ask it to like, not change any functionalities, but just like, because it will actually try to replicate everything on this design and then maybe like mess up with our functionalities. So hopefully it won't mess up with our functionalities. No, it has already started implementing this design and see, let's see like how, how good it works. All right, it has just finished writing code and now it has presented this QR code. Let me just try to scan it again. I'll just scan this QR code once again. Sorry, hold on. Let me just scan the QR code. Perfect. Now oh, it is opening. The app is opening right now. Let's see, it's a surprise for me. Let's see how this design works. Okay, so this is how it is looking like right now. So this is what it has created a very kind of a greenish look overall. It has not changed any functionalities. All other screens are as it is, but it has just like changed the functionality on the main main screen. So it has now added like inside this recent transaction section, it has added like daily, weekly and monthly sections. Now it has created this like total balance, total expense. And now 
it is like overall you can see on this expense tab it is still white analysis tab is still white we can ask it to like change that but yeah overall it has like not changed the design of all other tabs but just like this particular tab now we can just like ask it to enhance design of the other tabs as well and maybe like enhance further enhance this design as well because this is still not looking of this design but yeah i mean you can just like ask it to enhance that so but yeah right now we got a functional budget tracker app that actually works that actually it does our expense tracker or budget tracker and then overall our budget manager app so it works so far quite well we don't have any authentication system yet so we can now ask bold.new to build an authentication system for us now please create an authentication system for our app just create a basic login system that can allow anyone to sign up using their email and password also create a splash screen when user open the app for the first time it should show a basic splash screen and then it should show the authentication screen user needs to sign up and log in to enter in app after that just press enter and let's just see what it does okay let's just have a look at our tokens right now our tokens are 686000 when we started it was like 830 so we have spent around 150000 tokens and we have like a very basic version of our app ready so that's good so you can just like carry on from here on the further development of this app i asked it to like create an authentication system create a splash screen but it gave me this error which was you have hit the rate limit please upgrade to keep chatting or you can continue coding for free in editor so apparently i think this was today's limit that it has just like reached i still have like extra tokens but i'm not allowed to consume all of those tokens right now so i think with 150000 tokens we have like a basic functional app so yeah i mean you can just like uh, download this source code right now so this is where actually bold.new will not allow you to consume all of your tokens so it will just like put a stop in front of you and now you can just download this source code from here then you can open the source code inside cursor so you can simply just click on this export button click on the download button and then you can simply just download this source code this is how this file looks like this is just a simple zip file the size of this file is only 180 kbs so you can simply just click on this extract button from here and you can simply just extract this file and now you can just directly open this file inside your code editor so let me just click on this let me just open cursor i'm just like showing you this method that how you can open this project right inside your cursor or windsurf or maybe visual studio whatever you're using you can directly open that bolt.new project inside your local ai code editor once cursor is open you can simply just click on this open project after that simply just open that project select folder and now to run this project what you can do you need to first install dependencies for this project so to install dependencies you can simply just run this command which is npm install simply just run this npm install command press enter and now it will install all of the required dependencies for this particular project and then you can simply just run this project inside cursor there is no limitation of daily usage so you can now just like carry on development of your project freely inside cursor also you have more control over your source code in here so these dependencies are installed now and i'm just running this project by running this command which is npx expo start and now i have got this qr code so i'll just simply open this app inside my android phone once again i'll just scan this qr code and right now you can see this app is still running in my phone with the same design everything is as it is right inside my phone so yeah i mean you can now start development from here right inside cursor you can just like customize any things that you can but yeah this is how easy and simple it is so we successfully created a very basic budget tracker app with our three main functionalities our challenge was to create this basic budget tracker app using the free version of bold.new we could consume more credits and build authentication system but bold.new did not allow us that but still we made good progress and also i guided you that if you are stuck in bold.new with that token limit error you can then simply just export your source code open that inside cursor and then you can just like carry on development from there and if you have learned anything from this video please do subscribe also click on that like button. I see you next video. Bye-bye.